Hello, hello, and welcome to day nine of the 10 day creativity challenge, creating more love. Today's prompt is conversation hearts. This one seems like it will be the easiest, she says, just barely getting started. <laughs> uh, but I actually did a cut path on the Cricut, so I've just created these little conversation hearts, and luckily I have this mega 30 pack ultimate fine point pen set from Cricut. So I've got lots of colors. I am using papers from the Paper Studio Macron's paper pack. So I've got these really nice pastel pink, purple, and green, which actually matches pretty close with some of these marker colors. So I'm actually going to just go ahead. I've got a little bit of an edge on this one. So this one actually looks closer. So really all I'm gonna do, excuse the uh, paint hands, we've been, we have been creating the most fun Valentines um, with the kids. So basically what I'm doing is I did the cut path and then I'm just faking this three dimensional effect by darkening one of the edges. Okay. Ooh, that one got a little bold. And I think I mentioned this, maybe it was in my other class uh, for the Cricut. The Paper Studio paper actually, it definitely does not, it's got a coating on it, so it doesn't absorb paint or ink very well. So it kind of sits on top of the paper. So when you lay a lot of ink or paint down, you get kind of this, let's see. get kind of that um, pooling effect, but that's fine. Because once it dries, it'll be, it'll be fine. So this is where it gets a little tricky, making sure I, oh, you know what? It's a pink, isn't it? I was gonna say making sure I get the text right. And just a friendly reminder, if you are making three-dimensional anything, anything 3D with the edge. If you're doing it all on the same side, just be consistent and then it'll kind of sell the, uh, the idea a little bit more. Um, that being said, if I wanted to flip one of these so it was the opposite side, I could come down here and make sure all of these are on the bottom left or whatever the, the view is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink these and then I will meet you back here for the gluing and sentiment. Okay, so I've got my sentiment. I opted with You Are So Sweet because <laughs> we're dealing with candy hearts. And I have my little, 
I think I have 10. I think I ended up doing 10 conversation hearts. And I'm just going to kind of place them randomly. And I opted for the purple just because I've been showing, <laughs> I've been showing the purple the extra love. Oh, and I meant to mention that I was thinking I grabbed all of the papers out of the uh, Macron paper pack, but the purple is still the purple from the Splash paper pack. to clarify. I'm going to break my own rules and just go any which way for the 3D. Switch that one for green. Probably should have thought this one through a little bit. Switch to that one for pink. That purple can go there. How cute are those? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go press this, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and edge this card with gold. Just give it a little extra something. It's a little light. Maybe I should have chosen gray. I could do both. I'm not sure gray was the color either. Maybe it should have been purple. Let's just do all the colors. Okay, what do we got? It's kind of like a rainbow. Alrighty. There we are. Conversation hearts. Day nine. How exciting. 
If you're following along on the course at madmisha.com, thank you so much for being part of the community. If you're watching on social media or you're joining in, feel free to use the hashtags, hashtag 10 day creativity challenge, hashtag creating more love. I'm following both of those tags, so I will see your work if you tag those. And that is what we've got for now. We've got one more day after this, so happy creating. I'm awesome. You're awesome. Let's be awesome together.